Alrighty. Let me shut and lock my door. Yeah. I'm gonna go retrieve a beverage, but um, go ahead and start without me. I'll be back pretty soon. Yeah, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay, absent you ready to roll? Yep. Oh. Okay, shit. <laughs> Forgot I was muted. All right, uh, absent you ready to roll? Yep. Okay, glued. Count us down. Uh, All right. Hold on, actually, one sec. Oh, oh never mind. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right. Now I'm ready to go. Cool. Okay, friends. Three, two, one, go. Good luck, have fun. Good luck to the racers. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. We pull up the multi stream. Is uh, if there's not one existing, I'll make it. Uh, go for it. Yeah. Do <laughs> you want me to make it with the six or just with the two for now and like create three? Separate? For the two. Have confidence. Okay. Yeah. Heck yeah. All right, we are at a stone hill. Perfect. And I will post it in any channel you want me to post in announcements. Uh, sure. Oh. Wherever is all right. Let's go. Hmm. <laughs> I feel I might go for turnaround because I literally nailed that shit like four times in a row and that's weirdly consistent for me. Hey, might as well. Yeah. It feels nice to nail. Yeah, especially since that trick was in the fuck that until later pile for quite uh, quite a lot of my career. Such a nice looking trick. Again, it was the trick that just made me just go, whoa, what is yeah. this category? This yeah. is crazy. Yeah. I think I asked you this before. Uh, what was the trick that stood out the most to you when you were first being exposed to Vortex that made you go, whoa, what is that? Um, Actually, just straight up just threw myself at a run after I saw Hum's video. And then afterwards, I was like, hmm. We'll see how the, uh, we'll see what the community's like. Also, nice dog. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So, yeah, I did run first, then interact with the community second. Gotcha. And, yeah. Found Nova's stream one time, and the rest is history. Yeah, at the time, and still kind of is the case right now, is pretty much just I want to see how many leaderboards I can get on. Because it's just a new, interesting way to experience games I've always played. Yeah, absolutely get that. Yep. As far as so nostalgic for me, that's why I'm so glad I have a reason to play it, like, extensively. Yeah. Like, the Sparrow 2 is my first ever 3D platformer. Yeah. yeah. Same. It was... Rash one and Spyro one for me. I think oh I shit! I went to fucking. Oh, I went to peace. Shit. Tuco skip. Tuco skip. Tuco okay. skip. He, fuck he, it. He wasn't gonna be nice today. He was not gonna be nice. Yeah. Yeah.
yeah, who knows, maybe I am sparing myself from a seventh try to go. <laughs> exactly. You'll never know, but it's better to look at it Yeah. Often. Yeah, exactly. Of course, if I do get to Magic Crafters and, <laughs> and it is, like, first try, I'm going to be maybe a little nettled. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna talk to two. I mean, it would have been different RNG, but of course, if, if you see Dry Canyon, you'll, you can't help but be mad anyways, right? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah. It's better than going to Nasty's Road, eh? Yeah, absolutely. That is for sure. God, I have not thrown myself at any of Waffles' new strats, other than, like, Squap and that one's just kind of, like... I tried going at it from just observation alone, I'm still not exactly getting it. I have not hit Squap once, and it actually made me sad one night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I didn't try it for very long, but I didn't really have any success either. I literally had none. I didn't even get to the lava. And Waffle, that same night... I, I think I was sad that night, because Waffle was trying to get to the vortex and was literally resetting save states that could make it to the lava when I couldn't even get those. And I was like, you know what I mean? When it's like someone's resetting the types of things you can't get, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like they're on trying to do the more like successful version of the thing. I can't even get the lower version of it. Yeah. Such a weird trick. Yeah. I know people mean it's a Spyro 3 trick and that's the whole meme, but it, I, I think it's more than just that. It's really very you know really not a Spyro yeah. 3 trick at all the close i mean the closest the meme that... started because like it's like different than Spyro, like what Spyro has had before and like waffle Spyro 3 brand i think but yeah it's so unique I, I definitely yeah i definitely don't think it's like fodder proxies or anything like that the closest to Spyro 3 trick that like the brand new tricks this year were i felt was like steffi's bowling because that one was a moving proxy and that was that kind of all felt over the like place. Wizard proxy, but like on crack. You know what I mean? Yeah, it feels like yeah. similar to Wizard proxy, like almost to me. But maybe it's just because of the inputs. It may actually functionally be much different. Yeah, yeah. I think they're pretty similar. Yeah. So, um, what's uh, what's squat? It, it, like the the, the idea of it is you're charging into a much later glide into an enemy, and it's squeezing you in a really weird way. It's like. Mm. Like the interaction I think it was with because, the... uh, like the actual word was because. I don't know if it was because I said it, but yeah, like it's either a squeeze or a flop or both. I guess. Yeah. We're not sure, so we'll just call it squeeze squat. Flop. Yeah. Fair enough. But At yeah, the actual like interaction the... is you're like you're like squeezing directly into this like flop All animation right. in the enemy hitbox and the torch. It's like, it's starting to become to where like. The tricks are multiple hitbox interactions, rather than just one, you know? Yeah. Like, Swap is the enemy and the torch. And Spyro. <laughs> Do you have a bot of it? Uh, yes. I'll send you it. I'm it thinking about, um, uh, finishing learning Vortex in the next, like, week or two. Hey, nice. Yeah, that'd be good. You already know what I'm gonna say, so I won't say it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I honestly have no idea. Okay. You can always reach out if you need any help. Going out of my way to beat Shemp feels so embarrassing. <laughs> Sprinkly the Dinkly. Yep, Sprinkly the Dinkly. I you will got... say though, Mouse, that one night I taught you dog, you got really good at it really fast. You were hitting like three in a row on your first day. Like, that's not like standard for sure. Yeah, I mean, dog, if you set it up, it's super, super free. I've only yeah. gotten it once running. From like... I did show you the walk or the lineup that I used to use, which mm -hmm. I think is super yeah. consistent, but still, like, it's still hard. Yeah, the play. lineup is super good. Yesterday I was messing with it, um, just running at it, and I probably did it for like four or five minutes, and I think I got it once, maybe twice. Yeah, it does. It does fall out of practice if, if not, um, mm -hmm. if not practice. Like, 
there are certain tricks where you learn it and you can like be out of practice for six months and go get it first try but then there's other tricks where you got to be in practice with it you know like i, mean, I feel yeah, like i mean pra like i feel like passage boost i can go back to that and just hit it like like w w like just go get it real quick without practicing it but dog is not like that for me the hard thing for me with vortex is like i really really like trick categories and i like tricks <laughs> But my movement is so so atrocious that like I really need to swallow my pride and just do like Oop. baby stuff and, and get a feel for it because spiral one movement is really really hard at least at least at first. Oh, shit. I agree with you actually, and also I d I don't think your movement's that bad in spiral two at least. I know you well, you say like oh you only know the tricks, but I really don't think your movement's as bad as you make it out to be in S two. It's not. We Alpine jump, yay! <laughs> Being a, the same with like, S2 is like all the jumps, like the jump routes. Yeah. You make them really, really tight after a while, and it saves like weird time that you didn't think it'd save. Massive yeah, apologies. Yeah, is interesting. I'm, I'm. Uh, when, once I get my golden vortex, I'm gonna. Yeah do 14 tally for like an okay time i don't know if i'm gonna go like super hard in it but i have a sub 13 i want to at least get like a mid 20 something like 25 is your um like, is your vortex goal a time or are you just going for recce i just want to at least have the record once nice yeah obviously i think that my i think i'll be like involved with vortex more than that but that's that i i just i'm i'm already like where i'm at now why would i stop where i'm at right now yeah I reckon Especially you'd... since I still have passion for it, I, I'm definitely, I'm, I still love it. Like, why would I, you know? Yeah. Uh -oh. you... But I def like Spyro Two is such a nostalgic game for me that like 14 tally will be on my like main category list, like where I do a hard grind on it at some point. Because, yeah. man, like I love Two Any, and like once I get comfortable with like things like Beetle, <laughs> also mm -hmm. when you see a ladder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. um once you get comfortable with like things like Beetle, I think it's sick. But I hate things like Beetle, dude. Beetle suck. Sheep suck. So. Mm -hmm. Sheep's alright. I made a tutorial recently for it. I actually don't even think Turtle is that Beetle's bad. Ass. But it's not like too bad once you get like. I suck at it, but. Yeah. It's always so good. You can get pretty easy to practice it. The thing about Beetle is like. There's no like nuanced timing to it. It's literally just like hit the buttons as fast as you fucking can. Yeah, literally. Do you think I because I, I, I felt like when I've slowed down, I get beetle more. I don't know. Yeah, I, I really don't. That's probably because you're... as fast as you can. Because I, I, really I don't think it's that true. simple. I think there's a, literally a specific oh, rhythm between the flame, the charge, and the jump. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is within reason. Like. Yeah. Because when I just go super fast, it definitely just doesn't work. Like it's a rhythm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, you want to be close. You want to be low, but you don't want to be too close or too low either. Like it, it's yeah. it's just something you gotta get a feel for. Yeah. I, like I remember very vividly, there was a time I was getting probably like four out of five beetles, but they were all like an inch or two under from making it up to that platform. It was like all right there. It was like, what is so different about you know getting a little higher? Probably position. Like it seems like fodder proxy the height's mainly position, not timing, but I don't Second know. Beetle, you don't need as high of one. Yeah. Right, yeah, when yeah, yeah. Really but that one's it. RNG, right? The way it moves. It is, but it's yeah. pretty workable no matter yeah. where it yeah. moves. Very okay, maybe I just wasn't good enough at Beetle to be able to finesse that one yet. Like once okay, you have the inputs in muscle memory. Like, and you don't have to be thinking about that, and you can just think about the position of the beetle, it's it's not too bad. Yeah. That's fair. Good thing. But yeah, I yeah. love I love Autumn Plains and the end game of 14 Tally. Like, I love once you get out of Summer Forest. Like, everything past that is so <laughs> sick, you know? To be honest, even Summer Forest is sick. Like, it is sick when it goes well. It's just a reset hell, you know? Like, it's just one of those things. It's like, it's like you know... Oop, shit. Like, I know. I still haven't put anything into Autumn Plains yet because I just I can't I imagine Christmas also Broder. resetting in Autumn Plains. Yeah, Crystal Sproder's fun. I was playing with that earlier. I like that because even if you mess it up, you can do that backup Sproder, you know, and then go for yeah. Snowball. 
And Snowball is really actually... I think Snowball is one of the easier fodder proxies in the game. I've heard a few people say that. Like, I, uh, maybe I haven't watched someone do it correctly, but like I feel like I'm always overshooting. Yeah, you have to jump. Like, I jump preemptively as I hit it. Like, yeah. I jump when I think he's gonna die. I don't react. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ooh, that's that my biggest vicious. problem was that people would say jump when he dies, and so I'd react and I'd never get it. And then I started doing it, like, right before, like, as I think, and then it started working. There we go. That's how that's done. I'm, like, trying to convince myself right now to not try to do Sproder into Ripto. You know what you could I... do is get swim, try it, it once anyways, and then if not, do swim in there. You go, oh, I'm saying? Oh, that fucking gym? Yeah. So, that, you, so you can still at least Maybe, go for that. I can hardly even get anything out of it. Kind of. I just threw down um, like 10 minutes of practice and I'm probably at like 10% success. So I really shouldn't even bother. That's fair. Also, yeah, absent that jump when I was trying out 3 that felt like the hardest jump in the game when I was trying it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, like, easy to auto-jump if you're trying to be too, like, late with the jump. Like an S2. A weird, it's a weird surface that you're jumping off of, like, it's got a, you're, like, trying to jump off a corner, and I feel like that's always kind of risky in Spire 3. Sparks didn't eat. That's super that's strange, good. yeah. Yeah, that jump is super hard. The, um... Whatever the winter level, I'm so bad at the level names, the Icy Peak Jump. Yeah. That one's not that bad. In my opinion, it's, yeah, it's really not that hard. I really don't think it's that bad, especially if you line it up, you take a second to line up, it's it's really not that bad, I think. Oh, shit. Ah. Yeah. I Can't. agree, the, the, the level before that's Enchanted, right? Or, or wait. What is, yeah, yeah Enchanted Towers. Level names. Enchanted yeah, that Towers, one, yeah. that jump is, like, way harder than Icy Peak. Um, do you have Ice Wall Skip in your PB absent? No. That's yeah. That's crazy. You went for yeah. I I think I hit that once, like just in practice, because well, Waffle mentioned it to me. Yeah, it's not super hard, but it's like, it's not something I'd normally do if I was trying to do like resetless runs or something. Yeah, I just go for it. For What's the that. RNG part of it? Is just, is it just where Sparks is, or? Uh, it's the the cannon shots. Like the guy. If you want the ice wall to blow up. Mm -hmm. You want him to shoot a shot that misses like the ground and misses everything else. I've had the, yeah, I've had it blow up before here. once. I was like, what the heck happened? Yeah, sometimes it can blow up when it's when you don't think it's supposed to. But normally, what you're looking for is for him to shoot a shot that's like just explodes in the air, oh, and that great. can take. That he can just not do that at all if you get really unlucky. But usually, it takes like one to three shots. Gotcha. <laughs> Sparks yeah. is a little bit too, but you can usually work with Sparks, like it's not the main What about issue. Sparks' is RNG there? Uh, you need him to be like, close enough to the wall when the shot explodes. Um, so if he's just like, moving around like, in some way where he's like, really far away from the wall, then it won't explode. So you have to like, wait for him to it, shot. Does Sparks being there keep the wall rendered enough to be exploded, or? No, Sparks is where the explosion is happening. When the explosion happens in the air and it doesn't hit anything, it like snaps to the nearest, to the first actor that gets loaded into the level. Or, or second, I forget. Like it's, it's, there's like and a list of context, actors. Sparks is the nearest actor. The first time you enter the level and before you die, like the first time the level is loaded, Sparks is the one that the explosion snaps to. That's so interesting, huh? If you die, then he's no longer in the right position on the actor list, so it doesn't work anymore. Oh, I see. It's very specific with the way the actors get loaded right when you, like, go into the portal. Okay. Kamek, I'm so sorry. I'm fucking throwing at the moment. Oh, you're fine. Dude, I love watching the three any tasks. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's the beauty. I've probably watched it, like, ten times by now. Like, Alright, no, I'm gonna choose. Am I brave enough to go for it? Yep, we're doing it. 
117 test is also BD. I, I feel like for 117 oh, yeah. players, it's even more so, like... Mug twice, I'm not going for it. I want to learn 117, but, like, I don't know how to go about it. Watching a run. Just going, you know, that route. Probably IL's Saturday. Yeah, just practicing IL's. It's a lot to swallow. Yeah, a lot of people practice, like, home routes. Yeah, yeah it's. Just do, I just don't know routes. Or if there's, like, any, like, routes, like, written down anywhere or anything. I probably just want to ask Jake about something. Probably. Mm -hmm. I think most people just follow runs. Yeah. I just watch JP's run now. Uh, it, it's, it's a thing to devour, but in bite-sized pieces, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, un that's not a tiny game. Time. That's what, like, really got me to it a few years ago. Oh, even even learning 120 was an undertaking. Like, I wa I just watched, like, Deo's run in bite-sized pieces and tried to copy, and, like, that took a while. Oh, yeah. And that's way shorter than 117. Yeah. How how low did you whittle you down your time to composer? I still I've only ever done two one twenty runs, so I'm still at like a two oh five. But I could probably get sub two soon. I, but and that two oh five is with like missing a level in like Ice Cavern for like like five minutes game over. It was ridiculous. Yeah. Oh shit. I'll do one twenty at some point, but I, I just love trick categories so much. I, I, I seem to vibe with sitting and practicing a trick for a long period of time. Like, it, that's just fun to me, so... Yeah. I mean, I can do that with ILs, though, too. It, it to, When you get, like, really attuned to, like, a certain IL, it really is very similar, like... Yeah, I had that happen ah. with um, Glimmer 100%. That was... That's a really fun level to just do over I and over again. I practice high caves 120% all the time. It's so... When you hit the flame charges up that mountain, it's like... It feels so good. It's like, yeah, it feels like a trick when you do it. Like, you... It's very similar. 20 minutes in the Lofty Castle. I reckon I'm probably on pace for uh, 25 or 26 or something like that. I always love the, the textures in this level in Spire 3 and Frozen Altars. The, the, the texture work in Spire 3 was the best, I think, in all, all three games. The only criticism I have of Spyro 3's aesthetic is that the colors are way too vibrant. Yeah, there is something different about the colors in Spyro 3 in comparison to 2, huh? Like, I don't know. they're just yeah, like too brightness? vibrant. I get what you mean, the, like, yeah, like, look at, like, this, this skybox is super bright in comparison to other ones. But I like it. I do kind of like it. It's... Yeah, I like how Spyro 3 looks. It's more, it's more like magical, like, I guess is the one word I'd use. Also, nice fire, or, is that's firefly, yeah? Oh, shit. That's firefly. Yeah, yeah, nice. Nice. So if you don't get firefly, is it faster to just do normal movement, or is it, like, jumping around on that scene? You can death the beast, like, three or, like, three times, and still save time with firefly. Oh. So you can get, like, fourth try and still save it. Three or four seconds. Mm, that feels bad. Firefly is fog. Yeah, I really do like this tag of S three. So tricky conquer kind of like that. It's like you can it four times and still save time. What is it for SIR? I think it's like if you hit it third try, you break even or something like that. I think it's, it depends I mean, it on depends your a lot load on. times. Alright, if you That's die, if you get to go back. And how bad your theater loads are. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, this because is gonna emulator be a 25, players, 26. Um, emulator players have slower loads, and there's like literally nothing we can do about it. It's really rough. Yeah. How much time do you think you got left, Asher? Uh, probably about three minutes. That's usually how long it takes Nasty's world for me. So go to the bathroom real quick, be right back. Yep. Mm hmm. I'm seeing that nice purple screen. Same. Hello. Glad I didn't game over on zombie. 
Oh, zero live zombie. Yeah, that must be scary. Oh, oh that is. I, I had one life left, so it wasn't. Well, I had two lives going into zombie. But I failed it once. And then, yeah. oh, okay, I gotcha. Overall, this run's been alright. Kind of bad early. So, is zombie really frame perfect? I feel like. Yes. One thirtieth FPS frame perfect. So like, all oh, FPS yes. one game is pull it like sixty FPS technically. So it's technically two input frames, but one visual frame. Yeah. Strange. It just it does not feel that precise. Yeah, one thirtieth FPS isn't that precise. Shemp's frame perfect, and like, I have done Shemp what to me feels earlier, but it still works. Like. I feel like humans are able to recognize intervals smaller than 1 30th of a second. You know what I mean? Yeah, probably. It's really not, like, it sounds like a lot when you, like, you know, conceptualize how short that is, right? But, like, when it comes to, like, things that are, like... Mm. Feel if it's based. not a reaction. Yeah, if it's not reaction-based. Well, even things that are reaction-based, if you're used to reacting to it. Like, I guess... I guess it depends on how preemptive it is. Yeah. Because zombie, like, it's a rhythm, so it's extremely preemptive, you know? Yep. All right. About to enter Nasty himself. <laughs> Pretty clean run overall, mm -hmm. actually. Uh, <laughs> a little scuff here and there. I had to... Yeah, here and there, but I mean overall, you know? Yeah. Kind of figured Shemp might be the little... Because that's definitely one of those ones you can't just... <laughs> you gotta be very in tune with the timing, unfortunately. If you don't touch this game for a while, uh, that kind of fades. Alright, Kamek, are you ready, uh, kind of ready to roll? Yeah, I'm on duck station. Alright, right, first hit done. I'm gonna... I got purple screened by Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's alright, we'll go off my audio cue. 18 seconds. And go! Good luck, good luck. Oh man, I've got so much stream delay. <laughs> that was a 2541. Going into uh, the Night Mountain now. Yep. So. GG. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, Tex, thanks, Glued. I'm, uh, I'm still debating. I might buy Swim. I'm buying Swim. Yeah, I'm I'm really rusty. I think I'm gonna do it. You. Eighteen seconds. There you go. Good luck, good luck. I'm zooming. Oh man, I've got so much stream delay. I'm still purple screened. This is a twenty five forty one. I'm going into a, the night mountain now. Yeah. So GG. GG's. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, Tex, thanks, Glued. I'm, uh, I'm still debating. I might buy Swim. I'm buying Swim. What's the fuck? Yeah, I'm, I'm really rusty. I think I'm gonna do a Swim route. The turtle is annoying me. We'll see. I always say that, but it's, like, really hard for me to actually commit to it. Uh, it was the raid. Trying to find a way in Haunted Towers to land. Uh, land. So, like, after Wizard Proxy, the whirlwind that you go in, I'm trying to figure out a way to land before you go into the whirlwind so you can jump into it. But I don't know if it'd actually be faster in the context of Wizard Proxy. So. Oh, shit, yeah. That was absent. Might be 
I don't know, because jumping into, into world ones is faster, but I don't know about that. But... I don't think it's faster if you get like a decent lane. I was a proxy. Yeah, yeah, you might be right if you get like in the middle of the world, it's probably faster. Like that. I want part of me wonders if you get a small one, if you should try to go for that. I've said, where are you at? Um, about to start tanks and sorcerers. Oh shit. Uh, Chaos, you uh, ready to roll? Yeah, I just got up the uh, start game. Screen. Third phase, then. Right, are you streaming? Yeah, I just went live. Gotcha, cool. Alright. Good. Good luck, good luck. Man. Good luck, Chaos. Good luck. GGS. Yeah, GGS. That's a good one. Ooh, that's pretty good. Yeah. That's good. Guess I'm just gonna stay alive. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna good. boil down to whether absent on my team is better or worse than absent on the <laughs> enemy team. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have some additional warm up time now, so the second team kind of gets an advantage. <laughs> yeah. Probably. I just realized I'm it using a. Uh, so. You know what? You know, don't even pay attention to any of these splits, because I just realized I'm using a different route for these splits. It's cool. It's Gucci. Alright, I've decided to not buy Swim. But I don't think I'm gonna do Sproder. I still got absent stream up and that was a nice proxy. Pull up the second multi stream. Done this movement in so long. Feels yeah. bad. <laughs> I don't want to go a ice skating. Yeah. There's a 14 tally uh, new game plus uh, run last night, and that one, I, that one felt pretty fun actually. Oh, nice with the fireball. I wonder, yeah, what, I wonder yeah. what routing differences that could have, considering fireball already having swim right off the bat. Well, you have all the abilities off the bat, so you don't have to, like, even if you're bad at a lot of the uh, tricks that are meant to circumvent those, you can just dive right in. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. yeah I think oh, I know level... Sorry, good. No, yeah, you're good. I, I think at a high level, it doesn't change the routing much, because you, yeah. you, it's still faster to skip, like, climb, even if you have climb and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let that yeah, option it's probably just be easier, easier boss fight. Uh, oh, that yeah. too. Yeah. Probably just be with my feet. Basically, 14 tally minus skull for RNG. Yeah. Yep. I guess any percent gets the benefit. Of, also, it's good. Of having the swim in air into crush and like some other little things. Thank you. Not having to go into Dragon Shores. Yeah. Would swim in air into crush be faster? That's what Spora does in World Record. Huh. It may not yeah. be, but I would assume that it's been timed. Yeah, I haven't watched that one in a bit, so I didn't remember. 
Well, I guess with Fortune Tally it might be a bit different because you can't like do some proxies with Fireball. I don't think. Oh, yeah, oh right. shit! Yeah, For that's sure. right. I don't think you could do Beetle. Yeah, should do Charge Beetle. Is that a thing? Yeah, there's Charge Beetle. That sounds and then terrible. You can, do, you can do Sheep, um, just like you do Frog Proxy, basically. What? Oh yeah, I actually have seen Sheep done that way. I think. I don't know who I was watching that was doing it that way. I feel like it was Saboom at some point, but. Mouse, were you were you in my chat when people were trying to teach me uh, snowball, and the very first snowball I tried was like a frog, and I got it. <laughs> no, that's hilarious. Though. I had a fucking snowball frog box. Yeah, I think I, I think it was blunt. Someone else in my chat, and I was like, "Is it like this?" And they were like, "Lol, no." <laughs> Did it work? Like, yeah, it did. It, it worked. It got me just. I didn't go to where I needed to go, but it got me just as high as it could okay. have gotten me to get up there. I like was just like, oh, do I do it like this? Huh. And, and I've seen a clip of Derek getting a squeeze with the snowball too. So it's oh, like, yeah, it's you that literally, once. Yeah, you squeeze and like get every type of proxy off every enemy. <laughs> I think I'm gonna start going for the Terrace Boost and uh, Dark Passage instant load in runs. Yeah, I need to try some of the stuff that seemed easier in the test. Yeah, the instant no way. loads, I, that was I'm so pretty fucked. sure, are faster when you get them instant instant, but if you, like, don't, like, it might lose a little bit of time, you know, if you don't get the, like, full-on instant one. Yeah, I'm kind of skeptical about like the metalhead entry. Yeah, no, I like... don't think that's faster. We were trying to find a way to get an instant load with that, and also not glide. And it's possible, but I, at what cost, essentially, is what ended up being at the end. Yeah, of the I feel like people overestimate the cost of gliding in a lot of places. I don't know. And also, you want you want to know why? I think it's because we used to underestimate. And so we've been starting to be super cons like conservative about oh gliding slow, you know, and so maybe that's backfired like on the other hand. Yeah. I don't know. It just you gotta do like a lot of comparison work. Yeah. We gotta stop doing a lot of things I feel. And like document it. I remember new one talking about how they had like spreadsheets of all sorts of shit for the 14 tally toss that they were trying to do. Really bad sheep. May have lost 50 seconds to turtle. Well done. Okay. I lost probably one. somewhat similar to a third try sheep. Before you get to the the worst part about sheep is going into that fucking room and just being like, yep, respawning the guy, yep. Literally, <laughs> and then this off chance that you just don't respawn him because you yep, didn't do it yep, right. exactly, the off chance you barely don't go far enough out and you're like, oh, hey, nothingness, I'm going back now. Yeah, it's fucking terrible, I hate it. <laughs> Because I have to unplug my controller a few times before the deadstone like stops drifting. God, I, I feel that pain pretty hard. Yeah. But I've been using this DualShock 2 for like half a year, so I it's also been use DualShock 2. And I think for Spiral 2, I use a DualShock, a, a DualShock 1. I'm no analog, but for Spiral 1, I use a, a DualShock 2. I'm like, I don't know why. I have this deep rooted paranoia of overlapping muscle. I don't know why, like, I don't want to, like, overlap my muscle memory of S2 with S1 or anything like that. Even though I know it probably wouldn't matter, like, I was at this different enough. They, I think they are. I don't know. Then, like, S3, you don't have double jumps, so, like, I gotta worry about that muscle memory or anything. Yeah. I was messing with Vortex yesterday, and there was definitely a point that I tried to do a double jump. 
<laughs> Hell yeah. I think that happens in the learning period for sure, 100%. Yeah. Like, like, I can switch between the engines and remember the differences that are important, you know? But, like, yeah. I always have a fear that, like, something might subconsciously mess me up if I use the same controller, you know? Honestly, I find running another game, like, I think it really clears my head because I'll, um, a lot of the times I'll do, like, messing around with Spyro 3 a little bit, and then my, um, my tally runs will be, like, way better afterwards. Yeah, I found that before, too. Like, I had no expectation of my Vortex break to S2NE to PB, and I did it twice. I had no thought in my mind I would get a sub-9, and I, like, I was like, what? Like, that was my goal time when I was grinding the category, and I was just like, okay, like, I guess I'm just coming back. It's absolutely fucking weird how that shakes out, because, like... You too, right, Thresh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, fucking a month ago, like, I Shit. had Vortex was, for, like, so what, a month, okay. two months, <laughs> and, like, first run, okay, that Bro, was gonna be a shakedown run. Me. But, like, second run was... Oh, God, like a nine-second PB, and the other one was, like, a 2301. Yeah, it's it's just insane how like like I have this preconception that like oh like there's so much complexity to this stuff that's like if I take a break I'm, I'm gonna be so much worse but like it's crazy how much like your fingers remember you know yeah exactly I do keep grinding this out, I would have to spend some decent amount of time at Shemp, because that one... Yeah. Like, doing Shemp and not doing Shemp skip feels very embarrassing to me. I'm glad that I got it in my Fortaliani PB, because I was having a lot of trouble with it. I kept having to just move yeah. on from it. Yeah. Kind of upset. Yeah. I was having quite the Spirathon moment of hint about <laughs> 20 I think minutes ago. Feels, yeah, it feels bad to miss for sure because of just how much time there is missing, like, when you're when you Yeah. Especially if you, like, go for a second try and you miss it again. You're like, no, nah, oh, I shouldn't have gone for a second try at that rate, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's why I was just one and done when I was doing that. The get her or don't. Yeah, I have a bad habit of that, of being like, oh, I gotta go for it again. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sometimes it works out. I mean, that's what happened with, in my PB, I got second try Wizard Proxy and Superman, which, like, a lot of people say they never try to go for backup Wiz Proxy in high. Ugh. With me, it's like kind of like a rhythm thing. thing. It's, sorry. I, was just, it, I don't like Wizard Proxy because it can be kind of random whether you can get one that's able to be backed up yeah yeah if he goes forward i literally in my pb yes he went forward i had to jump then he went over to the back and then i got back up you know which that's probably yeah. faster than getting the ferry you know yeah it still probably is but it's just like it was, i lost 12 seconds and i think wiz saves 15. something like that bro I was like that's actually crazy up. so i literally pretty much didn't get wiz in my pb what the f that man holy crap And if I did get Wiz, that would have been a 22 for sure <laughs> a month ago. Oh, kind of. I wasn't going to get that. I have literally an entire year to do that. <laughs> God. I guess this is the only year that you can get. A 22 Thresh. in 2022. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta come back, Thrash. Yeah. You don't want to get a 23 and 23. 24 and 24. Yeah. So just get worse as time goes on. <laughs> <laughs> just keep piddling about with all this stupid Keep losing a minute every year. Run. <laughs> Like when do you think uh, 2019 or when do you think 19 would be possible in Vortex, bro? Three years ago, <laughs> <laughs> we missed our chance, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> 2019 being three years ago makes me sad. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little crazy. 
It's like percep it's, it's like perception of time just changes as you get older and it never stops changing. It always feels different as you get older. Like True. And there are certain things that'll like make it paradoxically feel like a long time ago and also not too long ago. Yeah, yeah. Like how how is it that you can sometimes sometimes feel both feelings at once, right? Thank you. I've definitely been there. Just started looking at sailor lists the other night. Let me go back to that. The practice uh, codes are like saving my life so hard. I, they're, I think they're necessary. <laughs> yeah. I think you. I think at it's least doing the biz so thing. So hard to practice without them. <laughs> at least the biz hawk thing, you know, if you don't want to do the practice codes. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how you'd be able to learn sailor lists without it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grapevine was practicing without the codes, and I was like, how do you know if you mess up in the room or outside of the room? And he was yeah. like, I don't. And I was like, I, that's no. The fun. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that, how do you know what you're messing up? That's pain. That's painful. Resistance training. <laughs> Heavy resistance training. Yeah, I mean, at that point, you just have to, like, very closely compare your footage of your gameplay to... Like someone doing it correctly. It's, right, yeah. yeah. It's pretty tedious. <laughs> Big it honestly does kind of suck that you add, pretty times. much literally do have to practice out the practice code. Like, there's pretty much no getting around it, the way the trick works. It's fucking basically memory manipulation. Like, it's like the most base form of it, you know? You're, you're doing specific movements with the camera to keep a memory address loaded. So it's like on a very basic level, memory manip. It's kind of wild, you know? Yeah. I mean, there is kind of like a, a general like intuitive principle to it where you're just trying to keep the the building out of view. Oh yeah, for sure. But I agree. If you do that well enough, then you don't need to be too concerned. Like there are, it feels like some places where it is out of view and you still lose it somehow. Yeah. The camera yeah, flips around somewhere. But... And then there are other times it's like, how is it still loaded? You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The most heart crushing thing though is seeing her flicker for one frame. Oh my god. Oh no! I don't want the magma cutscene. No. God damn it. Damn it! What is what wrong happened? with me right now? I cannot get up on this stupid thing. To be fair, that's a little okay, bit of a... there we oh, go. Oh, the cutscene when you land and. Oh, I know you did. Yeah. Yeah, when you like accidentally talk to the goat dude. Yeah. Fuck you, Bippo. We don't need. We don't need you, hats. Bippo. You don't need your party hats. Trust me. I don't want a party. I want to go on a vacation. <laughs> and even if I did want a party, I probably wouldn't be with people. Is it someone's that would birthday? Literally... What's the lore? We need a list. A zombie to last night here for the first time in what felt like a year. <laughs> Had the death abuse and shady. I was like, "What is this?" Is it faster to death abuse and shady, or outside of um, the level? Uh, I don't know. There's the one in shady that's just literally right, like she's right after that pit of like acid or whatever it is. So you can oh, just right. do it like right there, you know, and she just puts you back right there. So I just always go for that one. But I have rarely, rarely zombie. So like. Whenever that happens, I'm just like, oh, I oh, guess I deal with this now, deal. you know? Yeah. Forgot that it could happen. I was wondering why you guys were talking about death abusing. Yeah, yeah, when you uh, get shut on in the cone, in the cone. Yeah, usually I just wanted to do it right outside the level if I remembered to. Yeah, I just always just yeah. never really realized what was faster. I think I in Walker's know. old video just was like, oh yeah, do it right here, this ferry that I just passed, so I was like, fuck it. Hmm. It was so long ago when I learned, like, you know, how to deal with that. Was it in that, like, all-in-one video from a while back? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I heard about that. Like, I'm listed. The return! Oh, wow. Happy about that. 
watched a little bit of it, I was like, dude, I'm feeling nostalgic right now. I know, I like bumped into him in some random Twitch chat, and I was like, yo, a lot of people are very sad about a certain video that went missing. And he was just like, oh yeah, I still have that, I just took it down because it's outdated. Which in reality, you know, it's like, it's got outdated Please. things in it, but it's still got like useful shit. It's like, yeah, like I feel like, like I feel like we still need resources for things like, even like coaster skip, because it's like, I, was I say, honestly it's don't like the strats. mentality that's like where everyone when someone's trying to learn coaster skip, like I, I've been up, I don't be wrong, I've been guilty of it where it's like, oh, just learn dragon chores. Just learn sproder, bro. Just learn sproder. I do think that there's totally a valid reason to learn coaster skip first, and I don't think the frames, like I, I like. Here, here's what I realized. I got told, like, oh, oh the frames are on, like, mm -hmm. different, like, random frames that aren't next to each other, so it's, like, random, kind of. But when thinking about that, that's not random. And there's, that just means that there's a few tight spots to do it, right? Mm -hmm. It's not some random, of them are next but to it's, each other. it's a lot harder than... I, I think there's no reason to learn Coaster, to be honest. Like, I'm gonna disagree. Because Dragon Source Broder is, like, the easiest, yeah, or one of the, the easiest Sprotos to start with, and you're gonna it need to learn I, I was like needlessly yeah, afraid of it, it is for a very like too easy long, and then I did it, and I was like, wow, this is like simple. Why didn't I? Like, Let like, me say yeah, for, any, longer, for any percent, not for not for 14 tell. let's say for any percent. If someone's like, just I learning see... any percent, they want to finish around. I see people <laughs> always go to Coaster Skip. Shit, what am I doing? Yeah. I keep fucking the, like, talking um, to this guy for some reason. Skill floor for it is just really different. Yeah, you can you can fluke a coaster skip very easily. I just don't think it benefits you at all to do that. Like, I don't know. I think there's other things in that video that benefit like low level runners more than stuff like coaster. Yeah, that was just one example that came to mind. No, yeah. That that example is a little bit different because yeah, that doesn't benefit you in the long run. It more benefits you to be able to finish a run, which I think does benefit mentality, but not necessarily. It doesn't benefit skill. That's for sure. Yeah. That balloon would have been fine yeah. if I didn't like completely turn 180 there. Yeah. I kind of feel like if you want to finish a run, it's better to just like. Wow. Just some like, or something. You know? yeah, I would agree. Exactly. With you. That's how I approach things too. I got like a 1040, or no, I got like an 11 something with swim. With like all baby yeah, strats. You can get, like, you can get pretty decent times just so. Learn theater after that, you can shave off like a minute pretty easy. Well done. You'll have to I want to go back to Bone Dance. I have a 508, and I really want to do like fast crush and like. All the optimized no, shit. That's crush feels really nice. That's a, that's a strat I like to do. Like feels, it feels so cool. Fun. Yeah, it feels very fun, and it looks cool too. It's like a very nice visually appealing way to just abuse the boss fight. Chicken. <laughs> mm. I honestly like. I don't know what it is. My favorite section of Sparrow Two, whether it be like. In 14 tally too, a little bit too, but mainly in any percent, is the whole ground to portal sequence all the way to gulp skip. Like, Did I that not? Whole sequence is just so what? Weird. That should have hit gulp. Bro, <laughs> I thought it was a little far away, but damn. Gulp's already playing two eggs in. <laughs> yeah. feels like a little bit of a blessing in disguise with uh, Vortex because the only RNG you gotta put up with is one red scarfed asshole. True. Yep. I do say Gulp is terrible. <laughs> Bruh, what? Three bombs. Hell yeah, let's go. Oops, all bombs. Yeah, I wasn't that mad about it at the time, but at when I got my 14. Like... You 14? When I got my 14 tally, PB like my current one. I got all the doubles right up to the very last one and I got three bombs. God damn, uh, that's so And it was like Did they just give me a three bombs again? Oh they have one rocket. Alright, let's go. I was gonna like start printing off. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, that's that's shit though. Be like wow. He just dropped an egg right on gulp. Right in the middle. <laughs> 
pterodactyls, what the fuck? What is going on? <laughs> Jesus. Dude wasn't even like off to the side, just dead in the middle. They're just dropping more bombs than rockets. Oh boy. I feel like gulps a fight where it's easy for things like one thing to go wrong and it just snowballs way out of control. <laughs> <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? What am I doing? What am I even doing? What Hold on. This is stupid. <laughs> I like botched the hell out of that for no reason at all. Oh. And now I gotta do this nonsense and Ooh. not die. Jesus Christ. Jesus. All right, I'm done. Out of here. Let's go. <laughs> The most ridiculous gulp I've ever seen. I've ever done. I don't know how I didn't die. Oh. I think I finally come up with a way. Gulp, give me an aneurysm. Slup, <laughs> slup. Yeah, Mike, that was a fucking ride. <laughs> it was a hell of a ride. <laughs> I fucked those up pretty bad. How do I get penguin first try every time I do it in practice today, but then I just do that? It's usually something weird about practice versus runs. Oh, yeah. Let me know when y'all figure out how to bridge the gap, I'm still I'm still trying. Yeah. Just noticed your uh, live split background comic. It's a good one. Oh hell yeah, love it. I just watched both seasons of that like two months ago or something. Hell yeah, Shows I just started. It. It's in the intro. And I was like, dude, this is fucking sick. <laughs> hell yeah, let's go. What show is that? I forgot oh, the name of the show. Kaguya Sama Love Is War. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's say I watched the Japanese subs, so Japanese words. There's a third season of it coming out in like April. Hell yeah, that's sick. I gotta catch up. I'm like on season one still. I'm like about halfway. Okay, dragon. Sure, small. I know those were all bad, but you can cut me a little slack. There we go. Oof. <laughs> I felt dumb. I kept like not, uh, I don't think I was hitting off the bump right. What am I doing here? Gosh, I'm uh, done with this place. I don't know why I'm still doing this. I had my head to do theater. We spurred her in. Oh no. Not for no reason, at least. That just loses time. Oh no, I mean like... <laughs> it's Charles. Uh, I don't know, Charles, are you? <laughs> Um, I shouldn't. Yeah. Oh. I want to. I really, really want to. Oh, but I nice. really shouldn't. So, Chaos, I'm guessing your audio has, like, not been on this entire time for the stream. Uh, on my stream? No. But that's fine. I just, as long as it's being broadcasted, it's fine. Right. Um, let's see here. Spyro. Yeah, if we've got an audio cue okay. in some way, shape, or form. So, Composer, you loaded up and ready to go? Yep. I'm shooting gold with fireballs right now. Yep. Ooh. Absent. Absent, you ready to do uh, Vortex? Vortex. What? I'm doing a second 3 Yeah, Yeah, right. A second 3 <laughs> Yeah, that's a little bit. Yeah, that's a thought oh, too. Oh, dirt, my bad. I'm so sorry. And I'm worried. I was like, who's doing the other three any? I'm... Oh, I just sorry. had such a good spurter. I am ready to go. Great. Oh. Yeah, just, I'll have to be sure to shut it up, because I've got the stream board. Got you. Two, one, go. 
He took forever to make the noise. I was like waiting for the cue. Thank you, thank you. GG ever to make the noise. GG I was, like, waiting for the key. Easy and GL. Thank you, yeah. thank you. Alright, uh, if my spirit run drifter keeps going like this, um composer, can you just like uh get a nineteen? Oh shit, yeah, I'll try. He's gonna get that just Lamau. Lamau, bro, just do it. This time's up perfectly, pretty much, with my uh, bingo, too. Like, perfectly. That was the idea. Part of it. I'm still gonna be late. Yeah. I'm excited. That's gonna be hype. Hit episode 3. Just barely got into Rift 2. Let's go. Oh, that was so sketchy. Uh, I, I, I feel like you actually could have been a bit lower. It was it was low, but it wasn't super low. Yeah, I mean like the whole story. It wasn't... The end height wasn't too bad. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Like, you can... Yeah, yeah, you can I get had, so much on the last one. Yep, yeah, I, I, I don't know if you remember, but like when I was doing too many recently, I built the habit of, um, um, I built the habit of, uh, doing down left on that last spreader, you know? Yeah. Oh shit, I'm excited and nervous. I like having stakes on a race, even though they're, they're, they're small, it's still, you know, stakes. Mm -hmm. I'll start streaming now, just so that when I start, it'll be right. Um, oh, I'll, absolutely. Uh, I'll say go when I finish, yeah. I'll put my left. Jesus. Oh, we're gonna have a pretty similar end time. Yeah. Done. Not too different. Okay, All right, go. you go, Composer. Oh, my, my, my line of split's broken, but oh well, no split. Splitless rip. <laughs> I used one split. I just took way too long to get fucking waterfall sun. That's fine. Probably gonna be a blow up. Yeah, that was really close, Miles. What was your final time? It was like a 30 50 something. So okay, like yeah, that is pretty blow. close. Yeah. I don't know what mine was. It was a 31 something. It was literally only like 15 points I blow off. It's that. On theory, it's gonna be like equal except for Vortex, unless something really bad happens with Composer's run. Well, two codes so far deep, so we'll yeah. see. It. It's okay, now we've gotten past the hardest part of it. <laughs> Dude, I did code in my left arm, like a, a, a certain muscle on it hurts now. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I also really like. I have a really bad habit with like, ex like really tense like pr button pressing sometimes. Mm -hmm. I build bad habits with my grips. Yeah, I had that problem with spurtering. Any sort of difficult spurter. Okay, well, that's not the worst thing in the world. I should have like a 
fourth or fifth try waterfall swim. This would be a good run otherwise. Yeah, waterfall is interesting. I, th I find it crazy there's so many setups. Fady, Fady's setup looks so much different than the other ones I see that are like, the, the, I don't know if it's the standard setup where you're facing like, you know, the other way, but Fady does it a completely different way than everyone else. I haven't watched the way that Fady does it, but there are a lot of ways to... Or like, there, there's not like one specific setup. What was that? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm fucking throwing this shit. I guess I lied about the second team having an advantage. Fine, it's Gucci. Uh oh. <laughs> that was the weird. <laughs> I don't think I have any audio on my stream next day. Oh well. I'm not gonna mess with that mid run. Break everything. That might be a little dodgy for uh, submission reasons. Yeah, my um, <laughs> my run is completely muted as well. E. <laughs> might be dodgy for what? For submission, submission reasons. So. They really like having an audio cue, like symbolizing when one run ends and the other one starts. Thanks. I see. A little bit of like overlap between both video files, so it's very clear when that happens. So, yeah. Oh my god. I got the fireworks chest 3 explosion with no damage. Yeah, that's crazy. That's very precise. I'll tell you what, it's better than the fireworks 3 chest explosion with that. Oh, absolutely. Take this. I almost died in Misty. I took that very, very risky, but I didn't. Cuts together their highlights. Um, I'll put them all together. And, uh, yeah. Listen carefully, you. <laughs> yeah, let me look at that. On board. I keep wanting to check, like, how far behind the units, but I can't. It's a weird feeling. Yeah. We could be on pace for a 19. No, no, no pace. Specifically for these, it's usually better if I don't have splits, because then I'll psych myself out if I'm behind. When you say no splits, you mean like no timer at all? Uh, my last split broke. I, I was gonna use oh. splits. I just I like no. Some people just run with like, like oh, right, right, Just a right. timer versus yeah. Because just the timer, I kind of get. Yeah, just the timer yeah. is is yeah can be nice. But right now my life split's broken. I don't even know where I'm at. at oh, all. you don't even have a timer. Yeah, my life split was like frozen, and like it was right when mouse was ending. I was like, well, I'm not yeah. just gonna like you know hesitate. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like yeah, I, I forgot to give warning on that. No, no, no. I was watching the whole time. I, I saw you get yeah. the SIR. I was. Yep. I was paying attention. 
Oh. Blue, we still got times running. Blue. <laughs> monga, monga. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> oh boy. I haven't I haven't really heard them here since they came in. So. Yeah. Counted us off and then went and did something else. Uh, that's a little crazy. Oh well, I can just time all this shit afterwards, I guess, if he's seriously forsaken us. Why have you forsaken me? <laughs> and you're forsaken me. Uh, Jesus. The only reason that came to my head is because I swear to god that's the first time I've heard that word used outside of that song's context. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I have before, but like, <laughs> that's the most associative, like, memory I have with that word is that song, you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's generally not used in typical conversation, no. So, I get it. <laughs> Oh, thank you very much, Mushroom. I really liked how you were there in front of me for like two seconds. That was sick. <laughs> Is that for Turkey Elevator? No, I was entering Dark Passage. It's very rare that like that I get. I literally got blocked in between the portal and like the left side of like running. It was super weird. Entering Dark Passage? Yes, yes. I'll, I'll clip it, or maybe someone can. Uh... Fuck. Oh, thank god that passage worked. I didn't even know there was a mushroom there to block. You. Yes, you will learn about yeah. that mushroom. I didn't know there was one there until me and CF were running a meme category where we tried to go get the one red spring chest and without taking any, um, what was it? With no sparks. You remember that, Thrasher? Yeah. And the, the hardest part of that category is avoiding that mushroom. <laughs> it did not get sparks back. That's how I learned about that mushroom. I can't relate on that one because you can totally get that red spring chest without picking up a single gem like from start to finish and still have full sparks. Yep. Oh yeah, because the goal was to get it without getting another gem and we were like, we have to be sparksless to do it. We were like, there's no other way. And then Laura was like, uh, guys, and then showed us like all well, these other crazy strats. Well, I mean, yeah, you and, you and CFG kind of did all the heavy lifting and then you guys posed that to oh me. Oh my god, like, that yeah, turkey just was totally... fucking crazy. The mushrooms tried so hard. Look at how hard they tried to fuck me there. Yeah. I love that trick in Vortex. That trick's so cool. Yeah, it's, it's very visually air. appealing, I agree. Got bug proxy and then walked off the roof of the hut after I landed there. Oh no. <laughs> this is really dumb. I don't know what I was trying to do. I do shit like that when I'm playing Star 3 because I think I'm about to do a double jump and I realize there is no double jump. So I'm just gonna just fall. E. I don't even I jump. I just I don't fall. I just, all those things go through my head <laughs> and then I just fuck everything up. There's been several times where I've back and forth between two and three and done the fucking double jump motion three and go oh wait a minute oh wait this feels the same but it's not the same <laughs> yep of course whenever i switch between either of those in spiral one i have to remember jump charging is actually good in spiral two and three hilariously inefficient otherwise what? what I... <laughs> I feel like Nova menus on an inhuman level. Like, even when I feel like I'm doing my fastest menuing, I'm like, that looked half as fast. <laughs> Is it like one thing she. <laughs> I remember like, when have I started you heard watching... new music on emulator back in the day? I was about to bring that up because I remember her like bragging when I was first when I first started watching her like I used to like mash the sh <laughs> like yeah she got some obscene like Stonehill times on emulator like faster than anybody else. We will take 
take that any day of the week. Oh, goody me. And that is the first fish ladder in a Vortaliani. I feel like when I was practicing it the other day, it really, like, clicked in my head that the most important part is jumping as late as you can. Like, that has seemed to be the most important part of getting the hook, is just being on the latest possible part of the edge as you can. Yeah. I feel like it's because you're what starting I... the charge glide as close as you can to the top of the wall. I feel like that's, like, I don't know exactly why, but it feels like that's super important to it. What are people's consistencies looking like on Fish Ladder these days? Do you guys have, like, a blunt yet? Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't say anywhere near that yet. I, I'll i be a little egotistical about it. I think I'm the most consistent fish ladder. My last test, I was 25%, but I think on a good day, I could be 35, 40. Damn. General impression, I think, mo like, first and second would be... You and CFG on oh, that one. Oh, CFG's very consistent too, yeah. And Waffle too, actually, from the same state he was practicing on. Oh my god, what was that? Yeah. What? I mean, consistency from a save state isn't really... as important to think about in general. But Yeah, it depends on the trick. For something like fish ladder, like it depends on like how far back the safe state in the trick is. Oh wow. I think it really needs to be at the start of the level cuz yeah, yeah, every I've been doing it for a while and it definitely improved my run consistency. But when I was learning, I felt like when I was slamming my head against the wall, it, I had to like go fast when practicing for it to like really ingrain it first, if that makes sense, you know. Yeah, if you're trying to learn it, that's fine. Just like when you're talking about consistency, you can't really talk about. But yeah, when, um, when doing from flying, uh, it was like 25% was like the last time I tested it, I would say, which is, isn't bad. Like that's, that's resettable and like comfortable. I would like to get biscuit to that. If I could get biscuit to 25%. Oh God. He gonna give you. He he's always so sure of himself. I bet you like to hunt in this game. Oh, he bet again. Well, I mean, he's gonna be most confident with the magic crafters levels because that's where he lives. Oh, and now he's telling me about his friend. Yeah, let me go talk to your friend. Yeah. Friend told me about a pesky thief. Oh, I... You even have friends, Tico. <laughs> I think he thinks that they're his friends, but when when he leaves, you know, he's one of those situations, you know. Yeah, man, goddamn. <laughs> Fucking come out swinging, why don't you? Oh, he Tuco deserves. Yeah, look, look, Tuco deserves. It. He does, but still. <laughs> Even comic knew real ones know. Yeah, I watched enough. <laughs> What was it, Nova get like 8? Or Anne get 8? Oh, Anne and got fucking... Well, what? Anne got 19. That yeah. one, yeah. I was about to say 18, yeah. But 19. What will happen Crazy. first? The sub 20? Or the... The 20? <laughs> the 20. <laughs> 20 to go. That's nuts. Yeah, that 19. Well, I forgot like, what the odds were on that. Someone did the math. I'm terrible at that, though. If it's if it's uh, fucking 3 and 5, uh, 19 times in a row. Mm. Yeah, that is crazy. That's so ridiculous. Oh, God, it's, uh, it's like dream luck. Fine. <laughs> God. Please, time jump. Time jump. Okay. 
There we go. Oh my god, that should have worked. I'm gonna do it one more time. Whoa, that looked kind of sick. It. What the fuck? I've never even seen that before. That's supermaning. No, yeah. And not a lot of people do it in runs yet. Yeah. That looked crazy. I need to relearn it. <laughs> It's found it by uh, me and Take Five, and uh, I would say it's only me, Nova, and I who go for it. Jeez, yeah, it looks sick. I've never seen that before. Yeah. It's it's very <laughs> it's a really funny looking trick. It yeah, and, very unique. Like and rising. The, <laughs> and the yeah, fucking. It's a unique yeah. animation state. It's a very unique animation. State. Arm out and shit. It looks yep. so good. Superman. God, and the origin story of that was also. King amazing too. <laughs> oh no! Here we go. This fucking composer and take five going. You know what? Let's find a strat. <laughs> yep, we predicted. It. We were just like, we gotta find something in Clifton, bro. Oh my god! I can't fucking champ. I still think the funniest thing about Spyro 3 is like that whole like difference with the wall geometry there. Yeah. That's funny. Got two first try fireflies, bro. Holy shit. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Would you say firefly or bug is harder from your experience? Uh <laughs> It's hard to say because I don't get to Firefly as often as I get the bug. Okay. So it's hard for me to judge. I'd say they're pretty even in difficulty. Honestly. Maybe bug is all. Eh. I'd say they're pretty even. Firefly is. Because you you showed me, I just did the uh, the magic stare and ice cavern, and it's not that bad. That gem visual cue is super helpful. Yeah, that's a pretty easy. Maddox, sir. It's super rewarding, too. I was like, wait, I'm going to Nasty Throne? I don't know what kind of pace this is. This feels, I'm gonna guess it's a low 23 pace. It might be 22, I don't know. I I'm, I, I forgot how much I messed up and where and how, how much time I lost when I messed up. The mess ups feel prominent to me, but like that Superman only cost like maybe 25 seconds. I have a question about Bug and Firefly, because I was messing with them a little bit, and I found Bug to be like a decent bit easier, but I was also doing it from a save state, and I know there's like RNG to it. Like, how much is the RNG on them? Uh, with Bug, it's a lot, because the Bug can go in all sorts of different directions. Yeah. With Firefly, it's yeah, Firefly, it's not as much. That would make sense as to why Bug from a safe state didn't feel as bad. I unironically. You gotta you come at it. Like, different, you know, like you're jumping down on that thing and all that. Yeah, Firefly is. Running right up to it, you know, just dead on. Yeah, if you. Uh, oops, sorry. If you get a good spawn with Bug, then doing it from a safe state will feel pretty easy. Just being able to adapt to all the different patterns that it can take. I was gonna say, unironically in Cove there, because I've been watching and like just <laughs> being obsessed with the Taz so much, I went to the right on accident from seeing the angle that the fucking uh, penguin, or not the penguin, the uh, rat proxy and the Taz does. I like half a second went right and I was like, what am I doing? This is not what we as humans do. Glad I got a first try uh, Twilight uh, Harbor Wall Glide though, that's cool. Despite the way this run started, I might actually beat it. I left a, wow. I left like a minute behind my first run. It's not a good like mid and end game then. Yeah, it hasn't been it hasn't been too bad. We'll see how Scorch goes. That's it. Pretty much entirely comes down to Scorch. Yeah, I'm here. Awesome. Oh, okay, got you. Right when we needed you. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, nice. Yeah, we had a little fear in our hearts a little while ago. <laughs> yep. All right, so the moment composer yells time, you hit the first bit. Oh no, I did the clap. Oh, never mind. I, I thought I almost throttled ahead of Nasty for a second there, but I did. I'm gonna try the uh, eyeball thing here. He shouldn't have tried the eyeball thing here. <laughs> oh no! I'm gonna get that one day. You know what I'm talking about in the task? Um, I'm sure you saw that, right, Absent? Do you mean the the thing where you glide from Twilight to... No, no, um, you can get the early hit and then... Oh, uh, yeah. Without even yeah. Push. Like, like, it's like the result of a push without the push. Yeah, I thought... Yeah, I know what you're talking about now. Like, in Nasty. Yes, yes, yes. I tried it there and I got squished uh, on the first tip because I went for it though. But apparently Apple gets it consistently, so it's like, if that would be really, really nice to have like a second in Nasty Nord. Also, three, two, one, time. Jeez. Jeez. I don't that even, is... I, I'm sure I would. I think that was a 23 segment, I'd guess. 23 something. GG. GG. I got first try reds and then I just wasted, like, Way too many of them. Ran out of them. Got pretty bad enemy luck too though. So. I don't know what that color is for, but pink. Thanks for the raid. Yeah. Need to finish looking at helmet before I get conquer stuff. Really want to finish any of the two runs. I'm probably just simply doing it wrong, but Helmet was the most confusing part of 3 to me. <laughs> it's confusing Took as Helmet me. first for me, but like, starting to get it. He's D-pads. Yeah, it took me like seven hours of consecutive practice to get Helmet like once. Got it a couple times already, but like, or I like practice tricks like, till I like, yeah. under, like, get them and then do runs. Yeah. I'm just not like, I don't have a gun. Right, yeah. Yeah, I fluked a first try. But it, and knowing that I'm like de facto gonna lose like 10 minutes at the second to last split is a little bit discouraging. True. My current PB in uh, 14 tower right now gets first try to you. Watching that time save is melt away half my life. This is pretty cool. My current PB loses 25 seconds in Hurricane just to being bad. Hurricane yeah. being Hurricane. Yeah. So, like, I don't know. I get a lot of, like, runs that are in the green really early on. It feels good. But then I get to Turtle and it's just done. GG. Yeah.